Kitchen and Grill. I'm Ray Mack. Today, what I'm doing, I'm cooking on the grill because I got a few friends coming over and they're bringing some um, some food over to, to go with what I got. But meanwhile, what we could do is this. I'm teaming up with a group of people who are um, doing a potluck collaboration. So here, we're going to show you exactly what you can fix to bring to a cookout. All right. So like I said, I'm teaming up with a couple of people who are great cooks and this is what they got to show you and here they are. Katie Cooks and Crafts, Summertime Baked Beans. Please check her channel out. We have some good cooking going on right now for the summer. Easy gluten-free seafood pasta salad. Man, this looks totally delicious. Indeed. Tess Cooks for You, Ranch Tortellini Pasta Salad. One of the best dishes around. Last but not least, Old Man Cooking, Zucchini Casserole with Cheddar and Onions. Who wouldn't love that? So now enjoy this video because I'm going to do a sugary crust coconut pie. I hope you enjoy it. At the end of the video, you will see some pictures of my um, YouTube friends who I'm collaborating with and they have some great dish dishes. So I will add a link to their um, channels below. You can just click on it, go to their channel, and view their collaboration videos along with mine. I thank you. Enjoy the video. Right here we have two eggs along with some sugar. We have some salt. And we have a stick of butter. And I'm leaving the description below along with some flour. And then we have some milk and some coconut and a deep dish nine inch pie shell all right so we're going to preheat our oven at 325 degrees this is what we're doing right now for you all right so let's go ahead and whip this thing up we're going to take up take two eggs crack them place them into the bowl and the only thing we want to do now is just give these eggs a nice little mix. Beat them up real nice. We're doing sugary crust coconut pie, y'all. I guarantee you, you'll love this recipe. So right now, I'm just adding in the um, sugar. Slowly whisk in the sugar. All right. And with this sugar right here, y'all, I bought some cheap sugar. I went to Family Dollars. I suggest that you go to your local grocery store to find you some great sugar, some good looking sugar. You know what I'm saying? Some quality sugar. So I'm adding in, in the salt and I'm giving this a mix. And now what I'm gonna be looking for after a few mixes is a lemon color. Once I get the lemon color, it's on to the next. Before you add your next ingredients. So that's pretty much the color that you want to get right there. So we're going to go ahead and add our butter. Take the whole stick and your stick of butter must be at room temperature. Don't just take it out the fridge and try to add it to the recipe. It won't work. Let it sit out at room temperature and then you go ahead and make the recipe. Guarantee you it'll work perfectly. All right. So this is what we got, our full stick of butter, and we're whipping that up. Let's go to the next ingredient, all right? So we're going to take our flour, add it to the mix, and then we're going to take the cup of milk, cup of milk. Y'all forgive me. Read the ingredients below. We adding the milk to this, all right? That ain't a cup of milk. That's a half a milk if you need to know. So we're whisking this here together, the flour and the milk, along with the rest of the ingredients. Sugary crust, 
Coconut pie, y'all. This is what we're doing. Y'all, this is some good pie. Now we're going to take the coconut. This is one cup of coconut. And this is, I think, the last ingredients for this here recipe. So, whip it. Stir it. Do whatever you like. Just do it. <laughs> This is Ray Mac. You know I love y'all. I'm making a pie. I can do it all. I'm lying like a mug. I wish I could. All right, so we're going to take our pie shell, the nine-inch deep pie shell, and you could spoon it in there. You could pour it in there, whatever floats your boat. It's all right with me. All right. Then after you get your um, this um, coconut pie into the shell, try to smooth it out. You know what I'm saying? The best way that you could or the best way that you can before we put it into the oven. Because after we get um, this spooned out smoothly, we're going to go ahead and hit the oven. It looked good already, y'all. I'm telling you, it does. Make sure that when you place this pie in the oven that you have your sheet pan at the bottom so you could catch any overspills. That this pie might give off. You don't want to clean up a mess. I'm trying to tell you. I done did this too many times. So we're going to set the timer at one hour. After you got it in the oven. Make sure you set it at one hour. Now here's a trick y'all. This is how you come up with the sugary crust. When that crust get brown at the top. When you see that crust brown just like that. Take it out of the oven. And take a spatula. And you're going to skim the top. Of this here pie. With that spatula. Don't dig in it. Just skim the top. Because that's, a, that's the sugary crust right there that we're going to be working with. This is what's going to help that pie give, give it that extra, you know what I'm saying, that extra kick or that extra flavor. Just skim the top of this right here. This is sugar, y'all. And I'm trying to tell you, if you eat this just like it is, man, it's gonna, you're going to lose your ever-loving mind. I'm telling you. Because it's just that good. But take you another pan or sauce or something like that. Put it on top of, um, put it inside the salsa or the pan. Because this is what we're going to do. Check me out, y'all. We're going to crush, um, pretty much chop this here sugary crust up that we have in the dish. Because we're going to take that and then we're going to sprinkle it on top of that coconut pie. Now, here's another tip for you. If you don't want that sugary crust on top of your pie, go ahead and take the, take the sugary crust off of it. Put the pie in the oven and let your coconuts toast up to a golden brown. All right. Then you're ready to eat. Now, here's another thing that you want to do. Take the pie and put it on top of the sheet pan. This will help the custard set. Put it on top of the sheet pan, and we're going to let this um, cook into the oven until that, that crust becomes brown or when your custard has set, all right? And this is the final result right here. Sugary crust, coconut pie, Ray Mac style. It looks good, y'all. I'm telling you. And it is good. Ray Mac style. So, I want y'all to please subscribe to my channel. Give, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And leave a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. Peace. Okay, y'all. Here we go. I had to cut the slice into this pie so you can see it. If you can see, we got our custard here. Coconut at the top. And our sugar right on top of that. And here's the slice right here. We just about to dig into this real quick. Get a little bite of this. Mm, that's good. Try this recipe. You will like it. It's called Sugary Crust Coconut Pie. It is delicious. Thank you for watching Ray Match Kitchen and Grill. Be blessed. Love and not hate. Hit the subscribe button and also leave a comment. Thank you for watching.